We're stepping away from the air fryer again today and we're gonna make meatballs, not just any meatballs, but Mama Monty meatballs. And if I can make them just a fraction as good as a Chi does, they're gonna be delicious. So stick with me and I'll show you how. I'm not showing you the making of the sauce in this video because I did that in a previous video and I'm going to post a link somewhere up there so you can take a look at it if you want to. And when we cook these meatballs, we're going to cook them in the sauce. I will roast them separately because uh, I like roasted meatballs as well, but I do not brown the meatballs before putting them in the sauce. I just keep those two separate. Now usually when I uh, use ground beef, I use these uh, pre-packaged. These come somewhere between one and one and a third pounds. Usually for tacos I use them. I don't like using these for meatballs because it's so tightly compact. One thing about the meatballs is you don't want to play too much with the meatball to kind of roll it up in a ball. You just want to get it there. So I prefer to use like a, a fresh ground beef. And we're going to do about two pounds of this today. This measuring cup is actually gonna play an important role over everything else. Meat aside, if you have two cups total of your dry ingredients, you need your wet ingredients to be two cups. You want those to be the same. So the dry ingredients in this case is gonna be, you know, the breadcrumbs, the cheese, the salt, the pepper, the garlic powder, uh, and as far as the wet, it's just gonna be eggs. And if the eggs isn't enough, you can add a little water or milk to that. This is five pounds of meat, so I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it two pounds. Now I'm having all the ingredients. Uh, normally my mother would make it uh, four pounds of meat. I'm just going to use two. So I just got to keep in mind that I need to half everything. So first thing is I need a cup of breadcrumbs. I don't have Pecorino Romano. I just have regular uh, cheese, you know, this Parmesan cheese, and uh, we are just going to use a quarter of a cup of that. Okay, a little more than a quarter of a cup, that's okay. Got a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, two teaspoons of salt, and a half a teaspoon of pepper and that's a little bit more than a cup so as long as the eggs two to three eggs gets me to the cup for the dry to wet ratio will be okay i dump this in and we're going to get the eggs next Now I don't have any fresh uh, parsley, but uh, what I'm going to do is put uh, put some of this uh, cut up parsley, you know, jarred stuff in here. And normally you put about a, a teaspoon. I know I'm mixing wet and dry ingredients, but I was told that this is the way you want to do it for, uh, for this. And I'm going to add uh, about a teaspoon or maybe a half a teaspoon of salt to this as well. Now this is well under a cup here, but I'm going to start with this and add a little bit more as needed. Normally I would mix this with my hands, but I'm gonna put gloves on to make clean up a little easier. I can definitely see it needs more liquid. So we'll probably end up adding that other egg. Hot 
Uh, the reason why I think the egg wasn't enough was because normally um, we use extra large eggs and uh, these eggs were not quite big. Like I said, you don't want to work the meat too hard and make it hard to work with and really a hard meatball. You just want to kind of make sure everything's mixed up good and we're just about there. These, I'm just going to roll them up and put them right in the sauce as I go. And these gloves have to go. They don't allow me to work the way I need to. That's a good size meatball. Drop that right in the sauce. And I make mine round. Some people push them into like a, almost like a football shape, but that's not how I do it. It's not how we do it. But hey, it's football season. If you're making meatballs and you want to make them look like a, a football, have at it. Some, they'll cook it up and I can't even do it. The meatballs are not uh, playing well with me. Yeah, that's what she said. All right, I did say I was gonna make some roasted meatballs, so I am gonna roll these up, put them, when I put them in the pan, I give them a little smush like that for the roasted. I don't know why, but that's just what I do. And roasted meatballs are great. Um, you know, especially after they cool down, you're walking by the stove, you just grab one, pop it in your mouth. You know, I uh, sometimes will use, uh, I know, ketchup with the roasted meatballs. I mean, what is a meatball really? It's a it's a meatloaf or a fancy hamburger, right? Won't be a lot, there'll maybe be just six of these. But they'll be all mine, because no one else eats them. That's how I can guarantee that I will have my share of meatballs. In the oven, we're gonna go 400 degrees for the roasted ones. These are going to take about an hour to cook with the meatballs, maybe a little more, we'll see. And, and uh, can't wait, maybe we'll put, uh, make some pasta with this. We're going to make some garlic bread. Going on 15 minutes here, everything smells good. Oven is at 400, throw the roasted meatballs in. Not sure how long those are going to take, but uh, I like them to have that uh, nice, uh, I'm not going to say, well done shell anyway. Okay, let's take a look at these roasted meatballs. Yeah. They did stick a little because I didn't use parchment paper or oil on the bottom, but uh, that's okay. I'm gonna let them cool for a minute and I'm gonna taste them out. Right, let's grab maybe a couple of these. That's really good. You know, I know we're still waiting for the meatballs and the sauce to come out, but it's amazing. You buy the frozen meatballs, and that's usually what I do. Um, BJ used to have a good one, and then they started just carrying the Wellesley Farm uh, meatballs, and they just weren't very good. You know, this took a little time to prepare, not a lot, but just tastes so much better. wait to taste the one with the sauce. I'll be up in a couple minutes. And if I don't eat them all now, when this thing cools, it's not so cool, I'll walk by the store, grab one, and eat one, because it's like a finger food snack for me. Looks ridiculous. Next up, the meatballs and the sauce. And those should taste excellent because it's absorbing all the flavors of the sauce that are in there. You know, not only do the meatballs have their own spicing, but the sauce itself is just gonna absorb that. And it's, uh, I can't wait. It's, I said it was gonna be like a couple minutes, but it's actually gonna be a good 10 minutes. But you need to stand by and you need to watch me eat it. 
almost there another few minutes meatball right here what would it be without a uh, little bit of cheese here her recipe it never comes out like hers this is good but hers my mother's shows it's fantastic um, it's got to be the love she puts into preparing the meal that's that's all I can think about but this was good it took no time at all to prep the meatballs you know sure you can buy a frozen you can throw it in a pot but if you can cook it this way far better and you know what you're putting into it So this goes out to Mama Monty and all the moms out there, poor dads, if you are uh, the cooker in the family. And Dean, you asked for this. So I did this so uh, you could check it out. So now it's your job to uh, make yourself and report back. Anyway, thanks for uh, watching, guys if, uh, and gals. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing, and I'll see you on the next one.